Hey friends, how's it going? So today's video is gonna be a tutorial style video where I'll show you guys how I built my portfolio website. If you haven't already, do check out this video here on why portfolios are useful, who benefits the most from having one and what to put in your portfolio website and how to structure it. So if you're convinced that you would also like to build a portfolio website, or maybe you're just curious about how I built mine, watch on. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Wix. Wix is a professional website builder that has over 500 eye-catching templates that are also highly customizable using their drag and drop editor. And most relevant to this video, Wix has dozens of portfolio-based templates to get started with and customize as you see fit. You can get started and create your own portfolio and slash war website by checking out the link below or in the descriptions. All right, let's go. All right, so this is how you actually create your website. Start over here. In my case, I already logged in, so I'm just gonna do that. Let's create a new website here. Because what kind of website should this be? So there's a bunch of different options over here. For us, it's gonna be portfolio and CV. Then you have the option of using the Wix ADI to create the website for you. So it's gonna just choose like what kind of templates that you want. Um, or you can just choose to create your own website and see all the different templates that are available. In my case, I like to see all the choices. So let's go with edit a template. Uh, okay, so portfolios, resumes, and CVs over here. So let's just scroll through and look at some of these over here. You have the artist one, you have the business CV. This one I like. I like the business CV. Creative CV, illustrator, graphic designer CV. Wow, there's actually a lot. I feel like this one looks quite nice. If you're going for like more of a, a tacky, like muted kind of look, I think this, the researcher one is quite nice. So the one that I like the best still is this one, the business CV. Hello. Yeah, that's perfect. So resume projects. Here I would just add like a little bit about me, what it is that I do. And then over here, a nice photo. I like the color and the tones of it as well. I know that you can change that, but I'm not the best when it comes to color choices. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna stick with this color scheme. Like the blue and the beige colors, I quite like that. Here, let's look at the resume part. Okay, and this is nice. Yeah, this is good. I can just put in all my positions over here and then also just attach my CV so people can download it. Projects. Okay, yeah, this is nice too. I can just add all my projects over here and it's like a scroll through kind of thing. That And then a contact page. So I would add, uh, starting off with this one, I'll probably just add a um, another tab for my YouTube videos for like a YouTube tab. I think it's actually pretty perfect for my purposes. So we're gonna go with this one. All right, so edit this site. Hello, my name is Tina. I should put my last name. My name is Tina Hall. I'm a paragraph, click here to add your text. Okay, so I am a, what am I? I am a data scientist working in tech well as a YouTuber. What else am I? Hey, that's it. <laughs> I guess I, I am a data scientist working in tech uh, and a YouTuber. Okay, so change this. I am not a project manager. I am a data scientist. Good. Tina, oops. Tina. That is not my face. So let's change this to. So we're going to go with this photo. Okay. And then let's do the resume part. Okay. So let me actually pull up my resume. Okay. So this is my resume over here. I'm just going to add in everything. Edit text. 2020 until present. Job title. This over here, company name, cannot disclose. Hey, company location, San Francisco, California. 
data scientist. Data scientist. Uh, supporting team in the Bay Area. There. I think the rest of my stuff. Yeah, I can just copy paste that. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Yeah, looks good to me. So a download CV here, I'm going to add my actual CV or resume. Uh, where's my resume? Add to page. Okay, good. Looks good. All right, next up is projects. Projects, projects, projects. Oops, projects. Here are some projects that I've worked on and am currently working on. Okay, project name. I'm going to add in some of the projects that I've done more recently. YouTube sentiment, YouTube comments, sentiment analysis. The link I'm just going to put here from YouTube. And just a slight description. I did some sentiment analysis on comments of different videos and channels. Check out the video I made. Change the image to something more video. Let's see what we have here. Uh, more like comments. YouTube? Let's go with this one. This looks nice. Cool. Um, next up, let's put the trading bot I'm going to be building tomorrow. It'll be out by the time you guys see this video then. Trading bot. I feel like I have so many exclamation marks. <laughs> I feel it's just like the voice in my head talks like that. I realize so I'm just like exclamation mark everywhere. Okay, maybe um, let's make this into a period. It's like more solemn. Check out the video I made. Check out the live stream. Period. Last, another project that I'm doing is the one with Kenji and Forest Knight. So we call that project engagement. I'll be putting in more projects as I do more projects as well. And I'll probably put in some of my older projects too um, from my pre-YouTube days. Cool, looks good to me. And the last one to add, I'm gonna duplicate it and call that YouTube. Done. And then delete that one. Yes, delete courses and then YouTube. Uh, and I can duplicate this again. We can call that courses. Oops, courses. Done. Nice. And I'll just add it here. And these here, nice. Here are some of my YouTube videos. 
check out my channel for more. Let's link my channel. Link, 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 link. It's like we're running in circles, going around every day, getting stuck in the hurdles of yesterday. Don't you wanna go first? Um, and then the last one to do. We're almost done. We're almost done. Uh, navigate to courses. This is where I would put my course. So courses that I've done currently. Right, I need to stop putting exc exclamation marks everywhere. <laughs> I'm call that uh, equal for data science interviews. Coming soon. Change this image to SQL. I would be very impressed with a SQL. Database. Uh, nice. And we're about done, actually. Uh, and then look at the contact. Breathe in the air, look up to the moon, I'll meet you outside, away from the crowd. Just... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it as let's talk. Okay, so let's check this out. Hello, my name is Tina. Here's, I'm a data scientist working in tech and a YouTuber. And you have copyright here and you can write me and you can follow my social medias. Go to resume and you have all of these things over here. And you can download the resume. And then projects. Here's some projects I've been working on, YouTube comment sentiment analysis, trading bot over here. Engagement, project engagement, YouTube. Here are some of my YouTube videos. Check out my channel for more. So here's one of my videos, another one, and another one. And courses. Courses that I made. Coming soon. And then contact. Let's talk. Cool. I mean, this is this is pretty much done. Uh, I just need to like change the socials over here. Yeah, that was not bad at all. It took me 40 minutes, I think. Yeah, 40 minutes, not bad at all. And I had like zero prep coming in. So like it was literally all I did was um, just showed up and completely unprepared and just managed to get a website out in, in 40 minutes. And there you have it, my portfolio website from start to finish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful and hopefully motivating to also build your own portfolio website. I just wanted to make a note that this is also V1 of my portfolio website and I'll be changing it and adding more stuff as time goes on to make it more customized and Tina-like. Thanks again to Wix for sponsoring today's video. You can get started and create your own portfolio website by checking out the link below or clicking the link in the descriptions. See you guys in the next video or live stream.